You'll always know the weather with this weather station. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Vucca Times W1 wireless weather station and it's pretty cool, but what's really cool about it is the price. We'll get there in a couple of minutes, but let me start off by telling you it's a 5.8 inch, very colorful color LCD. And as you can see, it is dimmable. And when you get to the fourth level of dimming, it comes back and it's nice and bright. You're noticing that there's a wire and that's correct. So you can optionally plug it in on a two meter wire that it is included. It does not, however, include the charger. So it's a BYOC. A lot of devices are like that now. And if you unplug it, it's still working, though it looks like the screen has turned off. It goes to its lowest dim level. And then if you need to see what it is, then you can push the button on the top and that gives you the brightness so you can see all of the weather stuff and information and the time and everything. And then it goes back to being very dim because right now it's powered by three AAA batteries that are in the back of it. Now you're probably wondering, all right, where's the remote sensor? And the answer is I have my remote sensor, which is included with the unit. The remote sensor is currently outside which is where you want it. And it is in the shade in my house. And so here actually is a picture. It's under the eaves in my front porch. But obviously you want to actually sync the whole thing, get it all talking together. And that's how you can see that inside I have a very nice 73 degrees in the house, but outside it's 54 degrees. So let me give you a close up of the screen and I'll give you a tour of all the different areas. The indoor temperature and humidity are on the left side. The outdoor temperature and humidity are on the right side. The time, the date, and the phase of the moon are central. And then in the lower portion is a expected weather for the day based on barometric pressure. And you can see that tiny trend says that my barometer is even, which means I shouldn't expect a weather event today. Finally, there are two comfort indicators that are smiley faces. On the left is the comfort indicator for indoors, and on the right is the comfort indicator for outdoors. The unit supports three different remote sensors. It comes with one, and in the box there's a little card that I think if you do an Amazon review, they'll send you a second one. I know, they're not supposed to actually encourage you to do reviews. You should do them out of the enthusiasm you have for the product, but that's up to you whether or not you want to pursue that. You can get multiple sensors, and then there's a button that lets you step between the sensors. So you might have one like in your basement and another one outside, I suppose, could work. Um, it is a 328 foot transmission range. So you could put that sensor pretty far from the base unit. And for those of you wireless nerds, it's running at 433.92 megahertz and it's an RF signal. So it gives you a good range. Indoor range is zero to 60 degrees Celsius. Outdoor range is minus 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. That's a lot of temperature range. And humidity can go from 10% to 99%. So lots and lots of range and capabilities. Along the top is a ton of buttons. Here's a quick tour so you can see all of them. There is the set, which is brightness and to be able to set configuration. You can set an alarm. You can access memory for alarms. There is a snooze button that also doubles as the illuminate screen button if you have it on battery only mode. And then you can have Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can change channels up and down when you're doing settings. And finally, you can set alerts for specific weather events. Now, obviously it comes with a lot of features. So it's a little tricky to figure out, but fortunately all that I had to do out of the box was I had to set the date and time, which was fairly straightforward, and then switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius because I prefer Fahrenheit, you might prefer Celsius, which is the default, super easy. Now, not much else to talk about, but let me turn off the camera, go and grab that remote sensor and I'll show you something about that too. Here's the remote sensor and it's not entirely tiny, but there's actually a little display on it. So that's kind of fun. So it shows you 
its temperature and its relative humidity. So you can put this somewhere outside where people can glance at it and they can get the temperature if they need. But of course, most importantly, it's communicating with the base unit. This is powered by two double A's and this is powered by three triple A's. Not sure why they couldn't be consistent on battery size, but be that as it may, in the back, this is something really worth knowing. Um, there are tiny little switches and stuff that let you switch this unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit and let you actually pick which of the three transmit channels you want to use. If you have more than one of these, obviously you need each one on a different channel so that it makes sense. Otherwise, you're going to get a whole lot of confusion when you're having multiple signals, possibly at multiple temperatures, coming in on the same channel. And so this is, you know, easy enough. They recommend that you do not install it this way. If you do it this way, then if it gets wet, it actually will drain and dry. So this is presumably waterproof or at least water resistant. And there is a little inset on the back if you want to just put a nail somewhere and then just put it on a nail, easy enough. So it's a really nice setup. It's really, really simple. I like these sort of things because it really gives you a, the ability to just glance and see, hey, what's the weather? What's the trend on the weather, right? Is it cold or warm outside? All of that, really, really nice. And what makes this particularly interesting is, like I said, that it's a really low cost item. Now, one more data point before we get to the price, and that is the size. This unit is 6.4 inches by 4.4 inches by 1.1 inch, has a built-in stand, which is very handy. You can adjust it. It also has a nail inset if you want to put it on a wall. If you do that, of course, then you're probably going to have to figure out how to do the wiring too, which might or might not be a hassle. And then this unit is five inches by 1.6 inches by 7.75 of an inch, three quarters of an inch. And they're both really light. This is really easy. This is something you could put, for example, on a tucked away in the corner of your kitchen counter. And then while you're making your morning coffee, you can have a glance and get a good sense of what's going on with the outdoor weather. Or what I do is I actually put this right by the front door. So as you're going to walk out, you can make the assessment of, do I need to grab a coat or not? So really, really helpful. Now, before I get to the price, I know I already said one more thing. One more, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> is give me some feedback. What do you wish I would have talked about? Give me a thumbs up if you find this useful. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking or tapping on that red subscribe button on the lower right. All of that's really beneficial. It's really great for us to connect. Now, speaking of connect, this is the Vucca Times W1 wireless weather station, and it is $26.99 at Amazon.com. And that $26.99 includes the remote sensor. And if you fill out that card and do what they ask you to do, possibility of getting a second remote sensor with no additional cost. So that's a crazy low price, which gets to the point that, you know, it might not be entirely accurate. It might be plus or minus five or 10% even, but for $26.99, does it really matter? I feel like this gives you a really good sense. Is it scientific accuracy? Is it guaranteed to be plus or minus 0.1 degree? No, but for this price, it's a really fun way to get started. And it might be something that your kid would love having on their bedside table because then they can start being a little tiny meteorologist and really get a feel for the weather and look at things like, under, you know, how barometric pressure suggests that weather changes are coming and things like that. So really fun. If it was Christmas time, I'd say this would be a fun little Christmas like stocking stuffer sort of thing. You need a pretty big stocking for this box. But suffice to say, I'm a fan of this and a lot of it is because of the price point. Don't expect it to be super accurate, but it's still super fun. So definitely worth checking out. I need to go get this back outside so I keep track of the outdoor weather, which means I'll have to catch you in my next video.